Hi, my name is Jeff Gabriel. I am the co-founder and CEO of Saw.com. We are the leading domain brokerage on the net. We're always writing fresh content to help viewers like yourself understand and love the same industry that all of those that work with me at Saw.com uh, have grown to love. And I've made a list of a lot of the questions and I want to answer the, each of these questions in 30 seconds or less. My first question, can I buy an expired domain, which is previously a brand name, which is currently trademarked? Well, that's a depends question. There's a lot of depends questions in this industry. Now, I, for the record, am not a trademark attorney. There are plenty of great trademark attorneys that I would recommend in this industry. I'll tell you three, because I'm not going to point you in a certain direction. I'll tell you John Berryhill. He's been in the industry for almost 20 years. He's a very exper experienced lawyer. You have Zach Muscovich. He's also, he's the head of the ICA, a wonderful lawyer. And then you have Steve Lieberman, a third and great lawyer who's also very knowledgeable. And all three of them can do a quick search and give you a very straight and honest answer as to what the best use for a domain name may or may not be when there's multiple trademarks on it. And I highly suggest if you're serious about launching a business and investing quite a bit of money into the business, that you probably go to someone like that and get their legal opinion. But if, for example, you were to buy Delta.com on the expiration in an expiration auction or from a third party that used to have Delta Airlines on it. And when you purchase that, and if you're going to use it for something entirely different than what the other trademarks that are on, um, that are on the term Delta are using it for, you probably won't have any issues. So let me give you an example with Delta. You have Delta.com, which exists today. If you go to Delta.com, you're going to see Delta Airlines. But there's also two other massive companies that use the word Delta. You have Delta Dental, um, you have Delta Faucets. All three of those use the Delta trademark, but for three totally different things. So let's say you wanted to come out with Delta Shoes. And you wanted to buy Delta.com, you should, again, I'm no attorney, but you should be okay to use it for that use. So even if there's a trademark on it, as long as you don't infringe on that trademark, you should be okay. But again, I would speak to an attorney. I would certainly uh, not ask places like Cura or message boards. You need to spend the money and it should only be a few hundred dollars. And if you're gonna spend thousands on a domain name and potentially invest tens of thousands into a business idea or plan, you should probably spend it in the right places and that's getting a professional opinion. Yeah.